Hi folks, this is Yalira. Welcome to my channel, Learning for Life Homeschool. Today, I'll be talking about homeschool pros and cons. So if you are considering doing homeschooling, I recommend you to make a list of pros and cons. There are so many homeschool pros and cons. Maybe you probably feel one, two, three, four, five. Stop! <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's jump to the video then. But before I begin the video, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my future videos. How many precious moments have parents lost when their children were in school? Many parents miss out on the joy of first see their child read. Young ones say and do so many cute things that we miss when we spend less time with them. So that is a pro. You'll be there when they read their first word or when they finally understood certain concepts that they were struggling through. Kids in regular school have more and more homework. And when they get home, they eat a snack, play for a while, and then start doing homework most of the night, right? On the other hand, in homeschool, children typically finish their work in half a day or less. The rest of the time can be spent doing activities with the parents and other family members. There is more time for recreation, learning a trade, and in learning skills, and so on. Because homeschool gives parents an opportunity to work closely with their kids, it helps them understand their strengths and weaknesses better. You will learn whether they are morning persons or not, whether they learn best by reading or a more hands-on approach, and how they handle academic success and failures, just to name a few. There are certain required subjects, but you can teach whatever you want on top of that. Like for example, if you want your child to learn a second language, you don't have to wait for high school. The same is true for vocational skills, arts, home economics, and other programs. They can pursue any interest they have. Your kids will begin to see the world differently, asking questions along the way. You can also learn right along with your kids if you want to. Homeschooling gives us the opportunity to instill good morals, values, ethics, and manners in our children. We get to model and talk about kindness, love, being polite, showing empathy, and compassion to their younger siblings, etc. We can share our faith and beliefs with our children. When your kids wake up naturally, they will be more rested, which means better attitudes and better focus. If your child is a morning person, like mine, they can start school work early, finish early, and enjoy the rest of their day. If your child is not a morning person, they don't waste, they don't waste the first um, half of the morning cranky and struggling to wake up. Either way, your kids will learn how they operate best. Maybe some people think that this one should go on the cons. But it's because people think that socialization means having your child with peers all day long. They fail to realize homeschooled child are exposed to people of all ages. Because homeschoolers are not being segregated, segregated with people of the same ages, um, they can easily start a conversation with anyone no matter what their age or stage of life. Homeschooling gives children the freedom to choose friends that really suit them. If your child needs to slow down or speed up, you can do that. You have the freedom to do what is best for your child. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to hold your child back if they have the ability to work at a quicker, quicker pace. You don't have to put them into a third grade math book if they can succeed with a fifth grade one. At the same time, you can slow things down if it takes your little one longer to catch on. You can work a grade behind in a subject that is their weak point. Or you can work on grade levels at a lower pace if necessary.
Being with peers at school for 35 hours or more a week can lead to peer dependency. This results in a child who bases his values and judgment and actions on his peers rather than his family. When faced with a conflict between his peers and his family, he will try to meet the requests of the group while trying to avoid discipline for, from his parents. Okay, so now we are going with the cons. There is a lot of negativity around homeschooling. People think we are weird, people judge us, people like to make questions to our kids thinking they must be dumb or super smart. It can feel lonely at times to homeschool. You have to grow tough skin and just brush off the comments and looks that you get. Homeschool requires one parent to stay at home, so that means you will receive less income and things can get a little bit difficult. That goes for those parents who are impatient. Like I said at the beginning, homeschooling can be wonderful or it can make you pull out all of your hair, especially if you have a hyper child or if he doesn't want to cooperate. This might happen more with those parents who have more than two children. I know a mom that she has more than five children and she says that it's very difficult to keep her house organized. So if you like to have your house clean and organized, this can be frustrating. So these are just few pros and cons. You can make your own list because every family is different. And I hope you like this video. And by the way, I want to introduce you my son, Christian. He's Christian and he's also my editor. So if you don't see him sometimes, it's because he's behind the scenes. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification so you get notified every time I upload new videos. Bye. Ya, ya, ya. Y, 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 y